Hey guys, this is Solomon Productions, so okay, and I'm not 4603, and I'm back in Nameless, the one thing you must recall, part 15. Yes, I truly hope you guys enjoyed this series. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting on Tate's Road, so that might be soon, I don't know. This choice here was where we left off. Um, we can save Yen, we can save Lance, and we can volunteer for the experiment. And so basically, Yen, Yuri, Lance. And it doesn't matter <laughs> at all. Um, so I think I'd like to see what would happen if I volunteered for the experiment. Um, I stood up without realizing. I couldn't let Ham get its way to these boys who hadn't been human for some, haven't been human for long. As the owner, I decided to volunteer. I, I, I volunteer. Oh. <laughs> Yen looked like he was dying to cry out, Master. You've seen me handle your tools well, so won't my bones be healthy? Not you. Why? If you don't wake up, we'll be in trouble. This year, is a this year, a new interesting skeleton metal will be delivered from another area, and I plan to have you count the rib bones. To sum up, he so to sum up, he couldn't kill me because he had to use me. I guess I was that kind of student to him. But then I would like to hear about that interesting skeleton model. Mr. Eugene's eyes sparkled. What type of uh, is the new skeleton model? If you really want to know, I'll explain. Compared to my bear trips, it's full bloom bear trip. Blah. I succeeded in distracting him. Mr. Eugene was infuriated with describing the new model called Mr. Huang. Nickname. Yeah, and the chapter is over. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what's gonna happen now? We're gonna begin on Tay's route. I know you want to watch. Or do we want? Do we wanna? Do we wanna see how Benjol works? Let's see how Benjol works, and then we'll go to Tay's route. So one more chapter then. <laughs> Jeez. When the bell rang around half of the class was dozing off. <sighs> School's finished. It was such a long day. If we go through this kind of class again, my lifespan might be considerably shortened. <laughs> oh god, I can't remember any of the voices. <laughs> Why are you so lifeless? Soy shook me. Even after the fuss, Soy doesn't seem tired at all. On the contrary, she looked more in it energetic than before. I cannot pronounce that word. What was that cafe called? Oh, right. I almost forgot I was supposed to go to the cafe where Tay works at. No wonder Soy was so lively. I didn't tell her Tay worked there, but she must have insti instinctively been interested. It's called Benjo. 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 I roll my tongue and pronounce it. Roll your tongue, Benjo. 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 <laughs> God, no. <laughs> She'll be so surprised to see Tay there. <laughs> I was kind of excited to, uh, to think about surprising them. I, I am too. What's with the name? Ben J J J Joel. Uh, Soy rolled his short tongue and made weird noises. I can't Ben Joel. Ben Joel. <laughs> God no. <laughs> it's near here. There, I see the sign. Shinbi raised her head. At the end of her gaze was a sign spelled, spelled Benjol in clean black letters. What? It's written in English. Benjol or Benjol, aren't they the same thing? So I looked, so I looked cute trying to pronounce it weird. Yeah, call it however you want. It's quite a cool name. Should we go in? We opened the glass door and headed up to the third floor. Oh my god! I blocked my ears from hearing Soy's shriek as soon as we entered. Surprised, I hesitated to walk in and there's, uh, and stood off, off the front entrance, but Soy, who was screaming, ran straight into the cafe. Tay! Oh, that sounded weird. Welcome. Oh, you came. Tay smiled softly. It wasn't his business smile. It was the smile Tay always gave me at home. But Soy is used to that smile, so she'll probably faint when she sees it. I was about to warn Tay, but Soy was quiet for some reason. 
Hello, Tay. My name is Soya. I'm a freshman at your academy. Though she, I thought she'd freak out, but she was suddenly politely introducing herself. What? It was so unlike the usual story. Nice to meet you. This is... I'm Shinbi. Oh, okay. I'm Tay. Um, do you know her? Well, we've already heard. The principal told her to look out for you guys. Uh, I'm in her class and we're best friends. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry relaxed her mouth. Out of all times I knew Soy, I never saw her this happy. I've never seen Soy be this happy ever since I knew her. And the way she talks and moves was so gentle and careful. I thought I was looking at a stranger. Alright, nice to meet you too. Shen be you too. But those clothes. I pointed to his clothes. Yeah, I have to wear these when I work. Uh, yeah, it's not making you look worse. I know. It looks so good on you. Thanks. Since what have you worked here, Tay? Well, that's... At the moment we heard in the ki someone in the kitchen calling Tay. Tay. He seems to be busy. Oh no, I have to go. Hope you guys have a good time. For your information, today's special like candid lemon tea. We just finished marinating lemons today. Tay waved and disappeared into the kitchen. Oh my god, even in a uniform. Looks like a luxury even a uniform looks like a luxurious suit on Tay. As soon as Tay disappeared, Soy started making a fuss. Um Miss, is it, is, if it's okay, can I show you to your seats? We were stand, standing right in front of the entrance when the waiter heard us call. I felt bad for interrupting their business and turned around. His dark blue, his eyes green, um, blue hair and those light brown eyes. I instantly was drawn to him without realizing. He's so cute. Is he a boy? He, he, he is. He seems to be a waiter looking at that uniform. I definitely see he's a hot guy. I suddenly remember Yian at the house. I was surprised to find an actual person who resembled Yian. Those pretty eyes look like a doll's. Welcome. I'm Chi... Sion. Sion. I'm Sion. Your waiter for today. Excuse me, but how many are I with you? We'll come. We'll come again tomorrow. Excuse me? We'll come here every day. Not until the... No, until the day the world ends, I will come to Banjul. Banjul is such a warm and nice place. This name is fantastic too. She must have secretly oiled her stiff tongue. Uh, so I shouted Banjul with her exact pronunciation. Um, uh, yes? Seeing Sora's eyes, I could tell she's already freaking out. It's Sora's strength and weakness to fiercely pursue something she likes. And tomorrow she'll say she'll eat, eat cakes and tea leaves for her meals until she dies. It's free. Show us to our table, please. You wanna hear something funny? I was curious. Uh, so I wanted to see what the voices sounded like. And this guy's and Yian's, their voices were so deep when you thought of like a Shoda cute little guy character. Where normally in like when it's Japanese they have really really high pitched voices and that just that was what I uh Expected, but when those deep voices got out, I was so surprised. <laughs> you should definitely try the game. <laughs> it's really, really funny. I don't know. It's not that the voice acting is bad at all. It's just that I just didn't expect it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shouldn't be able to have to s settle the situation. Ah, all right. From me. I really like Sion. I wish he had a room. It's it's really unfair to make a really cute guy like that and then that's the blah. I wish he was Yian instead of playing Yian's route. I would like to play his route. Anyway. The waiter showed us to a table of comfy armchairs. All the direct decorations looked incredibly old. After looking at all the decorations I saw the whole view of I saw the whole view of the cafe. The cafe was decorated with antique furniture and elegant and felt ele elegant but welcoming. The furniture was old like those grandfather left me. The spoons on the wall and harmony in the furniture felt odd but strangely comforting. And among all, what really caught my eye was a harp. I looked around to find a small and a big small and big harps placed here and there. It was amazing to see such expensive in instruments in a cafe. 
Here's the menu. Uh, sorry? I turned my eyes to the menu after hearing the waiter's voice. Please call me when you've decided what to order. When the waiter was about uh, to turn around, Soy abruptly grabbed his clothes. What's the best thing on the menu? She was stalling to spend as much time as she could with the hot boy. <laughs> yes? Oh, everything's good. We check the freshness of our ingredients every day, so everything's top quality. You are the fresh new face of my life. I'll have this drink. Shin be ordered, cutting off soy off right with, at the right time. All right. Order the drink Tabor commended us. I'll have a candied lemon tea. And you, miss? I'll swallow anything you recommend to me. Then, oh, how about this? <laughs> it's called, uh, set, 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 set. If you drink this, you'll sleep well. <laughs> I laughed at his perspective perceptive recommendation. I guess he has quite a personality, unlike his innocent face. I'll have five of those. What? Five? Blinded by the hot point in front of her, so I started to be irrational. I have no clue whether she'd be able to drink all five cups. Sion asked her again, but so I was determined. Sion eventually left the table all confused. <laughs> Poor little guy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, sorry. This cafe seems pretty nice. Did the manager organize everything? Isn't it? I thought my heart was going to stop just then. I have no idea who the manager is, but he has quite an eye for cute boys. Excuse me, give me a second. So I seemed to not realize that Shinbi was talking about the decorations. <laughs> it was them. A man approached the table beside us. Seeing his clothes, he seemed to work here. Miss, can I excuse you for a moment? I hear the deep, deep voice. Okay, deep voice. I got that ringing. I looked up to find a man almost as tall as Yuri. Oh my god, my type again. Uh, hello. Uh, but you are? Oh god. Dark voice. This is gonna suck. Uh, I'm hopping. Hopping. I am hopping the hopping. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what should I do? Um. Um, no, I, I, I'm Hobbin, the manager of this cafe. I apologize for interrupting when you've been resting. No, no, it's fine, but something happened. Oh, I noticed something odd when I was registering your order. I think our waiter has made a mistake. A mistake? There must have been a misunderstanding. It's written here that you ordered five cups of set, set, set. Oh, it's right. The waiter and now the manager... The waiter and now the manager of this cafe is full of hot guys. Now that I think about it, Tay works here too. This cafe is going to be called the Hot Guys Cafe pretty soon. Excuse me? Oh, it's nothing. There's no mistake with our orders. You don't have to worry. Right, Soy? Yes, I'm drinking as much as I want today. I think she's conf confused tea with alcohol. She seems to have completely forgotten that you get sleepy if you drink that. Alright, I apologize. I hope I wasn't. The manager was about to hit up Head off when the waiter for a table came running towards us. Ah, uh, Mr. Hoban, why are you here? I told you I didn't make a mistake this time. The waiter pulled the manager's arm and pouted. He was so cute that I laughed without knowing. You have a history, so I can't trust you. I had to eat leftover cake for dinner that day because of you. I told you to take it off my paycheck, but you said it was fine. And how many times have you reminded me that? Such a cheap shot. Anyways, hurry, the kitchen's going crazy looking for you. Alright, I let it. I get it, so go. Uh, I get it, so let go. Then, Mrs., I hope you have a good time. Dion and the manager nodded and headed into the kitchen. Uh, I can totally tell the manager likes cute boys. Uh, I hope not like that. I guess if the, uh, never mind. <sighs> the manager here seems to only hi hire cute guys. I want to live in this cafe for the rest of my life. Oh, next time, why don't we bring the other members of the Hot Five? So I poked me in the rep. Ouch, why are you poking me? You're close with the Hot Five. Next time, ask them to come with us. Sh should I? I have to end the episode here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.